in the last class we discussed the convolution theorem what is the convolution theorem convolution theorem means if f and g are any two functions and laplace transform of f is equal to capital f laplace transform of g of t is equal to capital g then laplace transform of a faster g of t is equal to f of s into g of s conversely if capital f is the transform of small f and the capital g is the transform of laplace transform of small g then l inverse of f s into g s is equal to a faster g of t a faster g of t or g aster f of t since f aster g is equal to g aster f the using the convolution principle like this no, no. using convolution property find laplace inverse of 1 divided by s in s minus 1 so again laplace inverse of 1 divided by s in s minus 1 what is convolution there ah uh, laplace inverse of fs in gs is equal to laplace inverse of fs in gs is equal to capital f in the inverse is small f then capital g inverse small g then l inverse of f in g is equal to uh, small f faster g of t alle amala endiyanu idu fs in gs ennala formula idu eriya let f of s is equal to 1 by s and the product in the end of fs in gs nalla formula ik maatti that is let f of s is equal to 1 by s and the g of s is equal to 1 divided by s minus 1 1 divided by s minus 1 that is the given product the given problem is 1 divided by s into 1 divided by s minus 1 or f of s into g of s that is then f s and g s define the other one is laplace inverse of f s laplace inverse of f s is equal to laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1 that is equal to small f capital f in the inverse is small f is equal to 1 similarly laplace inverse of g of s is equal to laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 is equal to laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus a is equal to e raised to a t therefore laplace inverse of 1 divided by s minus 1 is equal to e raised to t is equal to small g t then by convolution theorem convolution theorem then laplace inverse of fs into gs is equal to laplace inverse of capital f into capital g is equal to ah uh, f faster g of t and the result what will be that is laplace inverse of fs 1 divided by s into gs 1 divided by s minus 1 like laplace inverse of fs into gs is equal to f faster g what is f of t 1 1 master e g e raised to t of t then laplace inverse of 1 divided by s into 1 divided by s minus 1 means 1 divided by s into s minus 1 like right. that is in the f of g of t is equal to v no g aster f of t and the f of g and the other part of the group of mind we have to write g aster f of t and one time one now that is g and the group then the then f of g of t is equal to g aster f of t is equal to integral 0 to t a faster g defined here with integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u remember g of u in the f of t minus u d g aster f of t g of u f of t minus u d that is equal to integral 0 to t g of u what is g of t g of t is equal to e raised to t then g raised to g of u means e raised to u into f of t is equal to 1 and f of t minus u and then there again for any value of t f of t is equal to 1 f of 1 is equal to 1 f of 2 is equal to 1 f of t is equal to 1 f of t minus u is equal to and then there again one and any value that comes to value one na in the g of t minus u that is one that is the you know, g aster f of t is equal to e raised to t g the value e raised to t after aster 1 of t that is equal to e raised to u in the integral e raised to u between the limits of 0 to t upper limit apply that even apply that e raised to t if lower limit apply that e raised to 0 that is e raised to t minus 1 so again 
then by result 1, the inner result 1, n inverse of fs in the gs, then the result 1 gives n inverse of fs, fs means 1 divided by s into gs, then 1 divided by s into 1 divided by s minus 1 means 1 divided by s into s minus 1 is equal to a faster g of t, what the answer f of t is equal to, then a faster g of t is equal to, g answer f of t is equal to e raised to t minus 1. So, okay. In either problem, then we can tell you if the convolution principle apply it in the other end of the area, you find the inverse of this one in the other end of the area. Where the mother of the KDM, we can apply partial fraction. 1 divided by S into S minus 1 on the line A divided by S plus B divided by S minus 1 on the other. Other than the multiply A simplify it with the A divided by S plus B divided by S minus 1 on the line A divided by 1 on the line B divided by minus 1. Then 1 divided by S minus 1 divided by S minus 1. What is 1 divided by S in the 1 divided by S in the 1 divided by S minus 1 divided by S is the partial fraction is the A divided by S plus B divided by S minus 1 on the other. Right? And then again we will a divided by S plus B divided by S minus 1 into the A divided by minus 1 into B divided by S minus 1 into the other. And then minus 1, B. And then the A divided by S minus B divided by S minus 1 into 1 divided by S minus 1 minus 1 divided by S into the other. A and B. 1 divided by S minus 1 minus 1 divided by S. So again, that is 1 divided by S minus 1 into the other. Minus 1 by S into the other. E raised to t minus 1. The convolution principle applies to the Paranjan number of the Yedam of the method. There you go. In the other one, you can find the inverse of this one. 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 Then the convolution principle applies to the inverse of fs into gs is equal to f as set g of t. Then the same way, 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 the same way. Using convolution theorem, we consider another problem. Using convolution property, we find Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square all square. That is 1 divided by s square plus a square. What is Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square? 1 divided by s square plus a square is equal to sin 80 by a. No, sin 80 by a. That is 1 divided by s square plus a square all square. Then take f of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square all square equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square into 1 divided by s square plus s square. That means take f of s is equal to f of s is equal to let f of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square. Add g of s is also is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square. Then what is f s into g s? f s into g s means 1 divided by s square plus s square into 1 divided by s square plus s square that is 1 divided by s square plus s square all square. Then this is the given problem 1 divided by s square plus s square all square is equal to f of s into g of s where f s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square and g of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square. Okay. Then it is very simple. Then what is n inverse of f s? n inverse of 1 divided by s square plus s square. 1 divided by s square plus s square, its inverse is equal to sin a t by a. Similarly, it is equal to f of t. f s into inverse small f is equal to sin a t by a. Similarly, what is n inverse of g s? n inverse of g s is equal to n inverse of 1 divided by s square plus s square. g s is also equal to 1 divided by s square plus s square. That is, n inverse of g s is equal to L in base of 1 divided by s square plus s square is equal to sin a t by a is equal to g of t. But f s in the inverse of t, g s in the inverse of t. Then by convolution theorem, we have L in base of f s in the g s is equal to a faster g of t. Now, the convolution theorem, L in base of f s is equal to small f, L in base of capital T is equal to small g. Then L in base of f into g is equal to f faster g of t. f faster g of t means L in base of 1 divided by s square plus s square 
into 1 divided by s square plus a square n inverse of fs into gs is equal to f faster g small f of t is equal to sin a t by a after g of t sin a t by a okay that is l inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square into 1 divided by s square plus a square or fs into gs what is fs into gs fs into gs is equal to 1 divided by s square plus a square or square the real inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square or square is equal to sin a t after a by a after sin a t by a 1 by a in outside of the other 1 by a is equal to 1 by b that is 1 by a square into sin a t after sin a t constantly a d m outside of the other 1 by a that is 1 by a into 1 by a 1 by a square into sin a t after sin a t then no last second kind of last one problem jayadha sin omega t after sin omega t sin what is sin omega t after sin omega t is equal to sin number jayadha 1 by 2 omega into sin omega t minus omega t cos omega t drop jayadha and other way to repeat it in the sin omega t after sin omega t here it is a sin a t after sin a t is equal to 1 divided by s power into sin omega t after sin omega t half of it that is equal to 1 by 2 omega in the other part 1 by 2 a sin omega t means sin a t into omega t cos omega t that is a t cos a t the result of the question is the same as sin a t after sin a t value is known integral 0 to t sin f of u into g of t minus u du in the above the play here now sin omega t after sin omega t jayadu what is it? and that is this is equal to 1 divided by 2 a cube into sin a t minus a t cos a t for lambda's inverse of 1 divided by s square plus a square or square is equal to 1 by 2 a cube into in the way sin a t minus a t cos a t ok so you can have a number of inverse kind of method that you have to do with the other method that you have to do with the other method that you have to do with the other method and then that's what you have to do with the other method save it, save it, it's not like what you have to do Laplace inverse of 1 divided by s square plus s square all square so again, in other words, 1 divided by s square minus s square all square and you have to do with cos h a t no, cos h a t sorry, sin h a t sin h a t you have to do with the other method Convolution property apply find Laplace inverse of e raised to minus a s divided by s into s minus 2. Using convolution property find Laplace inverse of e raised to minus a s divided by s into s minus 2. Or find the inverse of e raised to minus a s divided by s into s minus 2. Okay. Other you cannot then we pass the fraction here between. Pastor Fraction is not possible. If you want to solve this problem, you can apply the convolution property. If you want to apply the convolution property, you can apply the convolution property. If you want to apply the convolution property, you can apply the convolution property. If you want to apply the convolution property, you can apply the convolution property. F of s is equal to e raised to minus a s by s. One function. F of s is equal to e raised to minus a s by s. And the g of s is equal to 1 divided by s minus 2. Okay? And then f s is equal to e raised to minus a s by s. What is the Laplace transform of unit is a function u of t minus a? L of u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s by s. Or e raised to minus a s by s in the inverse of Laplace inverse of that. That is u of t minus a. That is one that is f of s. अर्थात् तो वन डिवाइड बाय एस में इसे वन डिवाइड बाय एस में इस टू जी ऑफिस अब इस प्रॉब्लम की इसी को देखा ये एफ एस सी जी एस दें लेट एफ ऑफ इसे इसी को डी रेस माइनस ए एस पे एस एंड जी एस सी इसी को डी वन डिवाइड बाय एस में इस इड कल का मो इधर इधर डी रेस माइनस ए एस पे एस इन डिवाइड से लाना Uh, e raised to minus a s by s into s minus 2. I think you want to draw 
What is the inverse of fs? L inverse of fs is equal to L inverse of e raised to minus a x by s. Equal to u of t minus a. Unit is a function u of t minus a is equal to f of t. Capital F in the inverse small f. Can I then come with the lambda transform of u of t minus a? We have already added it. Lambda transform of u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a x by s. Or lambda inverse of e raised to minus a x by s is equal to u of t minus a. Then, if you define f s like this, then L inverse of f s is equal to f of t, u of t minus a. Similarly, so, what is L inverse of g s? L inverse of 1 divided by s minus 2 equal to L inverse of 1 divided by s minus a is equal to e raised to a t. Now, here it is e raised to t is equal to small g t. f s inverse is small f t. Similarly, g s inverse is small g t. Then, by convolution theorem, convolution theorem, L inverse of f s into g s is equal to L inverse of f s into g s is equal to a constant g of t. So okay? that is L inverse of f s e raised to minus a s by s into g s 1 divided by s minus 2 is equal to a faster f of t is equal to u of t minus a answer e raised to t g t a faster g f of t answer g of t a faster g of t then we have what is f answer g of t. f answer g of t is equal to integral 0 to t, f of u in u, g of t minus u be u. Therefore, f answer u of t minus a answer to the integral, uh, u of t minus a answer e raised to 2t is equal to, f answer g is equal to integral 0 to t, f of u, f of means it equal to equal to the u of u minus a, then u of u minus a into g of t minus u. g of t minus u means here t ki bahada t minus u. e raise to 2 in u. 2 is not a good t minus u. g of t minus u. t is not a good t minus u. into t. It is 0 to t and not a good t. What is u? It is a function that u of u minus a is equal to 0 if u less than a. A power of an angle u is greater than a number. This is the value of a. If u greater than a, a and this value is equal to the value of a. And the integral 0 to t divided into like this 0 to a. Integral 0 to a plus integral a to t. And the integral 0 to a is a to t or the integral 0 to t a. That means integral 0 to t is divided like this integral 0 to a plus integral a to t u of t minus a e raised to 2 into t minus u d. And then e raised to u of t minus a, sorry, u of u minus a, sorry this one, u of u minus a into e raised to t minus u d. Like, f of u is all right. In the other thing, the integral 0 to a u of u minus a into e raised to 2 t minus u is equal to 3. E integral is another. U is less than a. U less than a is less than a is less than a is less than a. And the integral 0 to a this value is equal to 0. In integral a to t. That is here a u is greater than a. In terms of the u value is less than a. With respect to u, d u is not. u greater than a what is u of u minus a is equal to 1. And then there is 1 into e raised to t minus u d. First integral, integral 0 to a, this value is equal to a, equal to 0. Then I integral exists to a. Second integral, integral a to t, that is equal to integral a to t. Either u greater than a, i is equal to u of u minus a is equal to a, equal to 1. 1 into e raised to 2 into t minus u t. This is integral a to a. That is equal to e raised to a, 1 half e raised to a, 0. e raised to 2 into t minus u. This is the derivative. Derivative with respect to u1. And then 2 into t in a derivative is 0. Minus u into derivative minus 1. u with respect to u. And then 2 into minus 1. And then 1 divided. Integration of complete. e raised to 1 value is same. Integral e raised to 2 into t minus 2. Need in a derivative. 2 into t in a derivative is 0. With respect to u1. u into derivative minus 1. And then minus 1. And then 1 divided. 
ഇനി അപ്പർ ലിമിറ്റ് അപ്ലൈ മൈനസ് വൺ ബൈ ടു ഇ ടു ഇവിടെ അപ്പർ ലിമിറ്റ് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്താൽ യു ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു ടി ആവും അന്നാൽ ഇ റേസ് ടു ഇ ടു ടി മൈനസ് ടി ഇ റേസ് സീറോ ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു വൺ മൈനസ് ലോവർ ലിമിറ്റ് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാം ലോവർ ലിമിറ്റ് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്താൽ ഇ റേസ് ടു ടു ഇ ടു ടി മൈനസ് എ അല്ല ഇ റേസ് ടു ഇ ടു ടി മൈനസ് എ എന്നാൽ ഈ മൈനസ് കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് വൺ ബൈ ടു ഇ ഇത് പോസിറ്റീവ് ഇ റേസ് ടു ടു ഇ ടു ടി മൈനസ് എ മൈനസ് ഇ റേസ് സീറോയുടെ വാല്യൂ വൺ ഓർ ലാപ്ലാസ് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇ റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് എ എസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ എസ് ഇൻ ബി എസ് മൈനസ് ടു ലാപ്ലാസ് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇ റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് എ എസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ എസ് ഇൻ ബി എസ് മൈനസ് ടു ഇസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു വൺ ബൈ ടു ഇ റേസ് ടു ടു ഇ ടു ടി മൈനസ് എ മൈനസ് വൺ ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ എഫ് എസ് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തു പക്ഷേ എഫ് എസിൻ്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് അറിയുന്നതായിരിക്കണം സിമിലർലി ജി എസ് സാധാരണ ഗിവൺ പ്രോബ്ലം ഈസ് എഫ് എസ് ഇൻ്റെ ജി എസ് എന്നുള്ള ഫോമിലായിരിക്കണം എന്നാലല്ലേ നമുക്ക് ലാവാൻ്റെ കോൺഫിഡൻസ് എന്തെങ്കിലും അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അന്നേരം എഫ് എസിൻ്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ജി എസിൻ്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ദെൻ എൽ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് എഫ് എസ് ഇൻ്റെ ജി എസ് ഈസ് ഇങ്ങൾ ടു എഫ് ആർ സെഫ് ജി ഓഫ് ടി എന്നുള്ള പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഓക്കെ ഇതൊന്ന് സേവ് ചെയ്യുക സേവ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് നോട്ടിലേക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു സേവ് ചെയ്യുക